Hello, I'm Magda. In this platform, I upload one video bi-weekly and I share great tips that focuses on best employment strategies. So don't miss out and go ahead and subscribe by clicking at the subscribe button right below and hit the bell sign for a notification. When a new video is uploaded, you'll get notified. How did I do in my job interview? This is one of the frequently asked questions by my clients. After they complete an interview, this is the call I get usually. Obviously, it's impossible to know how their interview went until I hear back from until they hear back from the company. Uh, but there are few indicators I can give them to use to get a better sense and gauge the hiring manager's interest and where they stand in general. In today's topic, I'll discuss five positive signs that indicate that you impress the hiring managers and that you've become a potential candidate for the position. If there's one thing that drives people crazy when applying to jobs, it's the uncertainty. The day after an interview could be a day where you are most anxious because you're not quite sure how the interview went. You will feel more anxious, especially if you feel like you did not do very well in the interview. Even though it might be difficult to tell uh, with 100% certainty which way the interview went, all you can do is take a breath and simply reflect on whether these signs I'll be sharing with you were present or not. The first sign, they speak about you as you are already part of the team. Usually when an interviewer uses a generalizing term such as the person we're looking to hire, they might be using that to try not to get candidates hopes up especially at an early stage of the hiring process. But if they strongly believe that you're the right person for the job, they may start using a different word choice like, this is where you'll be working. Or they may also say, after your onboarding, you'll be introduced to the rest of the team. Uh, when they say that, they are speaking like you are part of the team. And it's a good sign that you have impressed the employers already. These are great verbal cues or indicators that they are thinking about you not as a candidate but as a prospective employee who could be joining them soon. They might also use words like when rather than if. For example, they say when you start working instead of if you get hired. And when indicates a strong interest in you as a candidate. They also may ask you interview questions about your future goals in the industry or the business. This means that they are interested in learning about your career goals and they want to see if you are a good fit for the company and they are already envisioning you working with them. The second sign is their body language. This is another cue that I pay attention for. In an interview, the managers usually might act tough and serious, but you can read their inner thoughts by the movements they make. Some of the few cues you get that hint their enthusiasm for you as a potential hire could be uh, they nod their head when you're explaining things, they seem very engaged, also you hear agreeable mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and other noises that show agreeability with you. And all these signs could definitely mean um, that they want you. Also, at some point, the conversation might turn casual and the hiring managers uh, might stop talking business and the interview turns more into a friendly conversation. When this happens, it shows that they are already satisfied you are qualified to perform the job and now they want to have a genuine interest in getting to know you better in hopes that you will join the team very soon. In contrary, if arms are crossed and they don't have much eye contact with you or if they are leaning away from you, this might be a sign of disinterest. The third sign is the interview went longer than expected. When the interview goes more than expected, while there are many factors that can affect the length of an interview, the more time that a hiring manager spends with you, chances are the more that they are interested in your skills and qualifications. Usually you are provided with a time slot of an hour or sometimes even two hours for the in-person interview. If the interview is completed in the given time, that's great. But when it runs longer and the interviewers seem to be genuinely enthusiastic and want to dive in into a variety of topics, or even if they ask you to complete additional steps during the interview, maybe they will ask you um, to take a skill test. When this happens, that's probably a good thing and it could be an indicator that the interview went well. 
Also, the other thing I want you to keep in mind though, if it's running over time because the interviewer keep rephrasing the same questions over and over, that might be you're not giving clear enough answers to them and you have to pay attention and tackle this issue right away. You don't want them to waste too much time asking you the same question over and over. The fourth cue is you keep meeting more team members. This has also been one of the top signs that you did well. Usually, no one wants to waste time with someone they have no interest building a rapport with. So when the interviewer brings other team members to meet with you, I would think it's because the interviewer really likes you and wants to get other decision makers to weigh in. When doing this, it's possible that they're gauging your interactions with key team members or uh, they want to see how you fit with the current culture of the business. If they offer you an introduction to executive members or employees who will be working directly with you, it's also a positive sign. This indicates that they are considering you for the position. The fifth sign is you get details on next steps. Usually, Hiring managers will not request information about hiring logistics regarding how much notice you need to give to your current employer or the date in which you can start. But if these questions slip out, this is usually an indicator that he, she is thinking about you, uh, maybe an offer timeline and how quickly they need to decide. If they ask if you have other offers you're considering, this question is usually a great indicator that there is a serious interest in you. So when the interview is complete, if it ends with a good enthusiasm and energy followed by a smile and they say something along the lines, we'll be in contact with you soon, I see it as a positive cue. On the other hand, if he or she says we'll get back to you, this usually expresses dis disinterest. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this topic and you're able to gain some insight in how to look for the positive cues that indicate you did well in an interview and hopefully it ends with an offer. If you like the topic, please go ahead and like, share, and click on the subscribe button before you leave. Thank you.